morning students in this particular section we will discuss regarding three inch arches in which parabolic arch so uh, in generally in examination you can expect uh, one full question for 10 to 15 marks so in this particular section i am going to discuss regarding what are the basic steps involved in solving of parabolic arches three inch parabolic arches so in which uh, the figure shows the three inch parabolic arch as the word says three hinges here a is one hinge b is one hinge also at ground we are having hinge so it is called three hinged arches so in three hinged arches the basic steps involved to solve problems are in step one we are determining the external support reactions as i said this a and b having hinged supports so in first step i'm going to determine va ha hp and vp so in second step after the finding of external support reactions we are going to determine slope as well as y value so we know that it's a parabolic arch so we know that equation of parabola y equal 4 hx by l square into l minus x this y indicates the height the rise of parabola at any point at any section if you consider y value the equation is 4 hx by l square into l minus x dear students please remember that this particular equation is very much important when we are solving problems so if you differentiate this equation we are getting slope y if you differentiate dy by dx then we are getting slope tan theta so 4 hx into l so it will become l into x if you differentiate we are getting l x into x x square if you differentiate this equation you are getting the differentiation of x square is 2x so this is the differential equation differentiated equation so we are getting slope equation 4h by l square into l minus 2x please remember this equation if you differentiate this parabolic equation you are getting slope equation this equation is called slope equation while y equation is called rise equation at any section of parabola y this is the equation you have to remember after this we have to determine normal thrust and radial shear what is mean by normal thrust and radial shear see please remember this generalized equation if you consider any section any section at that particular section if you consider this arch is a perpendicular to particular section is normal thrust and radial the shear developed radial direction is called radial shear so please remember this equation normal thrust equal h cos theta plus v sin theta and radial shear equal h sin theta minus v cos theta where h is the horizontal force if it is a symmetrical parabolic arch then both h values are same ha equals hb equals h therefore h is same theta we can determine using this differential equation we are getting tan theta equals on value theta we can easily getting from this equation and also please note that when you are taking h x if i want radial shear and normal thrust at specific point say for an example the span of the arch is 30 meter i require normal thrust and radial shear at exactly 12 meter or 10 meter from left support say if you have to observe the problem carefully and apply those values relevant values here you are getting the theta value finally substitute in this equation h is we, we already know from external support reaction we can calculate v is the shear force at required specific point required specific particular point when you have to observe the problem carefully you are getting at what distance you have to compute shear force that is the value of v so just substitute the direct value in equation you are getting normal thrust and radial shear so this is the basics you have to keep in your mind when you are solving three hinged parabolic arch problem so these are the things you have to remember so in next section we have to discuss regarding problems thank you